Okay, what's a sleep study? Basically, a sleep study is when they have a camera in the room watching over you. Mm -hmm. Then they connect these wires to you to, like, record your breathing mm -hmm. to see how much time. So, you have to stay overnight? Yes, I have okay. to sleep there. Well, all this stuff connected to you? Yes. Were you scared? I mean, I was scared at some times because I was like, I might have to have surgery after this. Yeah. And then I had, when I had to sleep there, it was kind of uncomfortable because I couldn't sleep a certain type of way how I usually do because I have all these things connected to me. Mm -hmm. So. So after the sleep study, then what did the doctor say? Um, When we got our feedback back, they basically was just letting us know that I stopped breathing a lot of times. Why in your sleep? While in my sleep. So, <clears throat> so then they told me that I needed to have surgery done. Okay, so when they told you that you had to get surgery done, how did it make you feel? Like, were you scared? scared. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't know how it was going to end out. What was your biggest fear? Like, just the pain. The pain? Okay, so. When they told you that you were about, you were gonna have to have surgery, and it, when you actually went into surgery, there was a couple of months in between that time, right? Mm -hmm. So, were you anxious and scared throughout those months, or? Yeah, but once I got closer to it, I stopped thinking about it. I'm all right. I have no choice. Okay, so we're at the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think it happened on a Saturday. No. It wasn't a Saturday? It was a Saturday. I thought it was a Friday. The 23rd of March? The 23rd? I mean, of February? Hold on, I'm going to tell you exactly. Because I don't remember missing the 23rd. Oh, that was a Friday. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was there on a Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. call off of work? I did call off of work. Okay, so... Friday gets here. Friday morning gets here. First of all, hold on, wait. Because the night before, you can't even eat food. So I can. I had to stop at 12. No. Okay, so you had to stop eating and drinking at 12 or just eating? Stop eating. And I only had to drink, I only could drink water and apple juice after 12. But I was asleep, so. So, okay. So, but then when you wake up the next morning. I you, couldn't eat. I was very hungry. You was hungry and you could not eat. Couldn't eat. And after the surgery, I was very hungry. I could not eat. Okay. So, we're at the hospital. Mm -hmm. What is going through your mind? I'm just thinking about what's going to be my outcome. Mm hmm. This it, happening. And. I have to ask you this because I was in the room where they gave you like this, I don't know what kind of drug it was, but you <laughs> you went from a 10 year old to a 40 year old with, it, do you remember drinking this liquid? Yes, yeah. I do. What was it called? They said it was Goofy Juice. Goofy Juice. Do you remember being Goofy? I mean, I. I always, I'm a goofy child. I right. always being goofy. Right. But like, I remember it turning from summer to like somebody, somebody else tired and keeps saying stuff that they don't think about. Right. So then, what's the next thing that you remember? I'm gonna tell you, I don't. For real. Like, my mama said y'all walked me to the door. All I remember is her telling me that it's time to go. And then that's it. So, when you left, waited there for a while, and then I had somebody I was delivering a moonwalk to. So, so when I come back from delivering the moonwalk, I'm on the way back. Your mama called me on FaceTime, and you are crying. I was in so much pain. And then I was also crying because you were, and I'm like, no. I was like, what? Did something go wrong? I was like, what's going on? So you was in pain. So you so you went pain. from not feeling any pain to now you feel pain. Like it was so sore. Okay. And then did they give you medicine for that or? 
they gave me medicine every once in a while. They came in, asked me how I was feeling, but I couldn't really talk, so I would just look at my mama and like give her some. Yeah. And she would say it for me because I it was hurting to the point it would hurt to talk. Yeah. And so, you missed how much school did you miss? I think it was a week a half, or week, two weeks. But I was feeling pretty better after the one week. March. But you couldn't, uh, you couldn't eat how you wanted to eat. Yeah, I couldn't. But well, now I'm able to eat. Now you're good. But what was your diet initially? Because at one point in time you was on like uh, liquid diet for about two weeks. How was that? I mean, I lost a cup, a couple pounds, and also, um. It wasn't that good because the only time I would be able to eat is like if I was eating mashed potatoes mm -hmm. or like something old person would eat. Like I just have to eat soup and stuff. And I could barely eat. I had to drink a whole bunch of cold water and a whole bunch of slushies. That was a good part, the slushies and the ice cream. Yeah. But I had to drink a whole bunch of cold water and I didn't like that because it hurt to swallow. I thought recovery was be, would have been so much easier when I thought about it. So, now that the procedure's gone and you're healed and you can eat spicy foods. All the other foods that I like to eat. Stuff like that. Are you glad that you went through with the procedure? Yes, because now I know that I'm not going to end up getting struck though or something like that. No sore throats, right. no white stuff on your tonsils anymore, right. no sleep apnea. Right. I'm sleeping so much better now that I got the surgery done. What hospital was it at? It was a children's hospital. It started something like a C or something. Or yeah, it did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to their hospital and in, uh, in, uh, in the comment or the description because they did a pretty good job they were professional so let me ask you this if there was something that you could have said or that you could say to a kid who is about to go through this procedure and who is scared out of their minds what would you say to them it's gonna be okay it's gonna be so much better after this for real so much better. Just that simple. Just go, go to sleep, wake up. A little bit of pain for about a week or two. After that. Good to go. Right. You sleep better. Eat better. Feel better. There you have it.